It's still early, but it appears 11-term Republican Congressman Steve Shabbat is facing his toughest test yet to hold on to his first district seat. Does this man, rising Democratic star Aftab Puraval, have a chance to win in the first? Puraval did not plan to run for Congress this year after serving only one year as Hamilton County Clerk of Courts, but he says like a lot of people over the last year, President Trump has had an effect on his life. Donald Trump, Steve Shabbat, uh, they've been marching in lockstep. Puraval's political opponents, including Hamilton County Republican Chairman Alex Triantafilou, say the newcomer doesn't have a chance. is going to get beat by Steve Shabbat. Shabbat has faced well-funded Democratic challengers before in Roxanne Qualls, John Cranley, and Steve Driehaus. Except for Steve Driehaus's victory amidst the 2008 Barack Obama tidal wave, he beat them all. The November 6th election for Shabbat's seat has statewide and national implications. Business Courier reporter Chris Wetterick wrote the story and joins Business Courier editor Rob Dahmeyer in the studio with more on the significance of this race. Chris and Rob. Peg, thank you. And Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So uh, last week I was at the Chamber's big annual uh, Greatest Living Cincinnatians dinner, and there were a bunch of politicians uh, in the crowd that they announced from the stage uh, just to sh just to give them shout-outs, right? Steve Shabbat was there, a bunch of state politicians, and Aftab Purava was there, and he got a bunch of cheers, and no one else got anything. The reason I bring this up <laughs> is uh, why is this guy seen as somebody who has a, a potentially a bright future in politics? You know, it, it, he just is a very personable guy. You know, when you talk to him, he's inter he seems interested in your, you know, politicians are paid to seem interested <laughs> in, your, in your problems, but, you know, you generally believe that he is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of charisma. He's a young guy. He's got a very successful career. He worked at P&G as a lawyer. He did, this is an interesting fact about him. He volunteered for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Like, he was a volunteer prosecutor. They didn't pay him for like a year and he, you know, basically, you know, lived off his savings while he prosecuted uh, child porn cases and those those types of, you know, really gritty, you know, disturbing yeah. types of cases. And so, you know, he's got this kind of history and he's tried to, uh, you know, move up pretty quickly on the political ladder. He won um, election as Hamilton County Clerk of Courts in 2016. He was the first Democrat to do that in decades. And so people just think that the time is right for him to, to try to move up. This is the year that the Democrats believe that they can take the House, and, and he's, uh, I think, probably a key part of, of that strategy. But as, uh, as that very short clip of Alex Trantafilo, uh, where he <laughs> said he has no chance, uh, this is an uphill climb. Maybe you can explain quickly what this district even looks like. So this district includes, um, you know, about two-thirds Hamilton County and about one-third Warren County. All of Warren County is in this district, and Warren County is a very, very Republican county. Um, Steve Shabbat has won Warren County in these races by about, a th uh, I think, a 75 percent, 25 percent wow. margin. So this is a huge uphill battle for them. Uh, they need, you know, if, if Pureval is going to win this race, he needs to get in the high, mid to high 30s in Warren County. In Warren County, yeah. Nobody really does that. The last person to do it was Ted Strickland when he ran for governor in 2006. So um, he was a different kind of candidate uh, that Warren County maybe, you know, could could you know find some some common ground with but i don't know i don't know how good or bad aftab will do there it's uh it's something where you know you're going to see them wage a campaign in warren county and democrats don't usually do that well it's a great story chris uh, and one of the keys to the story is that um this is a big race nationally uh because it's seen as this guy is seen as somebody who can actually potentially uh unseat shab but again it's it, it'd be an uphill battle but it's a possibility and that's got it has national implications great story from chris and back to you and Chris will keep us posted. Thanks, gentlemen.